If you ever get one of these messages saying no loop signal, I'll show you what to do. What it basically means is that the signal cable coming from the base station, the loading, st loading dock, uh, leaving this side, going clockwise around your lawn. There's a, it's broken somewhere. I mean, it's, it's come apart. So how do you find the error? Uh, well, first of all, you have to open this side and that side to expose the signal cable from both sides of the base station. I'll do that with a small screwdriver. Prying these things apart. There. I suppose the cables like that. This the black one in this case is the one going out in the lawn. And that, that's the cable that's broken somewhere. Do the same thing on this side. That is done. Uh, what you have to do is disconnect these black cables and expose the wires like that. And like that. Uh, these things might look a little bit different depending on, on uh, low mower station and, and, and country, but it's a basic Next business. thing you have to do is buy one of these cable trackers. I mean, they come in different shapes and sizes and brands, uh, but they all basically look the same. Got one of these red and black cables and they got two settings normally. Uh, contact setting and tone setting. First of all, I'll set this thing to contact. Uh, and I'll connect this red cable on the right side. Since all these lawnmowers go clockwise when they start their program, uh, that's why I put it on the red one. And I put the black one on the other side, coming into the station. And what I'm looking for is this light coming up, turning green or, or lighting up. That would mean the signal when I have this on it should be sending a signal from that wire through around the yard through the cable coming back on this side into the black one showing that there's a clear path for the signal to, to pass from this end of the cable to that end of the cable but nothing happens that's why you get the the, the error message on on the lawnmower because if you don't have that message, your lawn mover will escape your yard. And you don't want that to happen, so it's a good function. Now that we've confirmed that there's no contact between this end and that end, meaning there's a cut somewhere or the, the cable is broken somewhere in, around the lawn, uh, we have to find the actual uh, place or the part of the cable that's broken. And how do you take do that? the black cable, disconnect it, put it on a screwdriver or something similar, and you ground it, stick it into the lawn like that, and the red cable is still connected. Then you switch this thing to tone, and it will start sending a signal through this cable which uh, will be tracked with this other, other part of the device. This part uh, is the tracker, you turn it on and each time you press this thing and put it against the cable, it will either give you a signal or be quiet. A signal means it's okay and if it's not okay, it should sound like this. Okay. How do I do this then? In this uh, case, I know this side is good. And somewhere over there, I found um, breakage in the cable. 
and uh, I reconnected it. Uh, and now uh, there seems to be another cut in the cable somewhere else. And I've done the whole yard and up until there. And I've only got this part left. So what I will do is I will switch this red one over to the other side in order to make sure that the signal is as strong as possible because it's traveling a shorter uh, way. Since this part of the cable is shorter, I've done most of the yard. And you'll see that one was quiet before. And what you have to do now is just keep on following the finding the cable you, you see if I if I remove it from the lawn you d will not he hear the same signal well you get it I'll get back to you when I found the the breakage I have now come this far and I'll show you what I found. Can you hear that difference? I think I found the error. Ah, look at that. Then I'll probably find the other end of the cable somewhere to the left. <laughs> yep. That's how you find a cut in the cable. And what you have to do is to uh, connect these together and it should be fine and working again. I'll get back to you when I've done that. So before I do this final repair, uh, and make sh I want to make sure I don't have any other cuts in the cable uh, before uh, fixing this. So what I've done, I've done a temporary fix with these temporary things. You cannot use these later on. You have to... to uh, to water secure these, otherwise the cable will oxidize. But I'm testing here the signal. Okay, Perfect. I'm back at the at the charging station. I connected the red one to the outgoing cable, and the black one to the incoming one on the other side. Looking at the cable tracker setting it to contact this lamp is going to light if everything is okay voila perfect this means i can uh, solder and uh, water secure the cables that's broken out on the lawn that's the way you solve the problem i'll show you the robotic lawnmower startup after this there are two ways to fix the cable either you solder it if you're comfortable with that then you have to make sure you have one of these shrinkage cables on top shrink tubes on top of the cable before you solder it so you can slide this over and use a heat gun to um, water tighten and, and, and seal that second way is way easier you buy one of these gel fill filled things um, made for this kind of things the lawnmower robotic lawnmower sales uh, stores have these or wherever your hardware and any hardware store should have them as well uh, you don't even have to strip the wire just cut it off on each side and stick it in here one one side into the right hole and the other one into the left hole all the way in without stripping the wire and then you squeeze this blue thing together with a plier and it will make the connection and it will be water sealed as well. I'll show, show you what it looks like when I've put it on. As you can see, the cables are all in there without being stripped uh, and they're surrounded by gel. 
and this blue thing, basically it's, this thing is from 3M, uh, has been pushed together, so it's all sealed and nice. And now I have to uh, heat this shriek, shrink tube in order to fix this part. Before heating up the shrink tube, I'm gonna take a quick check to make sure there's still connection. Yeah, looks good. Very important, you, you don't wanna do this twice. That should do it. I've now reconnected the cables at the charging station and we're pushing the lids back on. One more piece of advice before leaving you. If you this little green light keeps flashing on your on your charging station, uh, all you have to do is disconnect the, the power supply and wait for 10 seconds to reconnect. It's supposed to be a solid green light, otherwise you will get the uh, cable signal uh, error again. If you like this video and found it helpful, please subscribe and leave a like. Thank you. Now to Bye. the moment of truth. Voila, up and running again. Good luck, guys.